Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying MakerFest. My name is Martin and I'm going to show you how to make a 3D printable jack-o'-lantern using Tinkercad. So if you want to follow along, you can go to tinkercad.com. We're going to start by dragging a sphere object onto the work plane and then make it nice and wide, make it taller. You can use exact measurements at home if you want. Um, but we're just going to try and make a shape like this, so kind of a flattened sphere. Um, maybe make it a little bit wider than that. Cool. And we might as well go ahead and color this orange. And so once we have this shape, I'm going to duplicate it, pressing control D, and then I'm going to rotate that just slightly, about 12 degrees. And then once we've duplicated it, we'll continue to duplicate it. And you can see it not only duplicates it, but it repeats that slight rotation, that 11 degree rotation that we did, until it all fills in like this. And we have a pumpkin shape. Now we want to group this all together so it is combined as one shape, just like that. Awesome. So the next thing we want to do is hollow this out. So in order to hollow it out, we'll make a duplicate, a duplicate of this pumpkin, drag it over, turn that into a hole. And then we're going to just size it down slightly. So I hold shift to scale it evenly and we'll just scale it down a bit like that. So it's a little bit smaller. Now we'll align this inner hole with the pumpkin. So I hold shift to select both objects. And then I press the align tool at the top here and then just click both of these inner circles and press group. So now that inner hole is grouped with our pumpkin, so it should be hollow now. And we're gonna see in a second when we try and um, cut out the face shapes out of it. So to do that, we're gonna start with the eyes. We'll use this roof shape as the eyes. And we're gonna make this nice and long. We want to make sure it cuts right through um, to the inside of the pumpkin. We'll raise this up and just kind of drag it in so it's passing right through the pumpkin. We'll make this into a hole and then just duplicate this and drag it over. And then we might rotate each of the eyes slightly outwards, just like that. Might want to make these a little bit, a little bit taller, and move them down a bit. Oh okay, yeah, so something like that. And then now we can just select this whole thing group it all together, and it should cut those eyes out of the pumpkin. Sometimes it takes a second for Tinkercad to actually do it. And then the next thing we want to do is create the mouth shape. So there's really no predefined shapes um, that are available to us. And look, our eyes cut out. That looks great. Um, so to create the mouth shape, we're actually going to use the scribble tool. And this is really cool. So we drag that onto the work plane. And the scribble tool allows us to just draw our own shapes. Now, if you click uh, draw shape to the right here, this will actually fill the shape in as we draw it. So I'm just going to use my mouse and draw a scary mouth. For our jack-o'-lantern just like that and then click done and it turns that 2d drawing into a 3d shape very cool so we'll rotate this 90 degrees and 
and just make it deeper so it'll cut through our pumpkin. And then just kind of have to align it to where we want it to cut out of the pumpkin. So something like this. Might want to rotate it slightly up like that. Looks pretty good. Once you kind of have the mouth where you want it, we want to make sure that we make it into a hole and then hold shift and select our pumpkin and group them together. Oops. There we go. So that looks great. Um, oh, just one sec. Try that again. Awesome. So that'll cut the mouth out as well momentarily. And then we might also want to create, let's actually create a hole in the bottom of the pumpkin. Um, in case you wanted to maybe stick like an LED light in the bottom. Um, so we'll drag a cylinder onto the work plane. We'll make that into a hole. Make it, um, and then we can just, you can size this to your exact dimensions at home, but um, we just wanna drag this. Actually, we'll, we can use the align tool again to align it to the center of the pumpkin like that, and then press group to group that hole to the bottom like that. So now you can put like a little LED T light in it if you wanted. Um, one last thing we could do to make this um, a little more fancy is just to add like the little partial stem at the top. And we could use the scribble tool to, to draw our stem as well. So we drag that onto the work plane. I'll use the draw shape again. And then just draw something like this to make our stem. Click done. I'm going to make that green. And then we'll rotate that 90 degrees. And now we just got to stick that on the top of our jack-o'-lantern. Awesome. So we just stick that kind of in the center, raise it up a bit, and there we go, your own 3D printable jack-o'-lantern. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, this little tutorial, and I hope you enjoy the rest of MakerFest. Thanks.